Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we will discuss Arrhenius equation. What is activation energy and its significance? And what is the effect of temperature on activation energy? So let's see this one by one. So the question is. What is Arrhenius law or Arrhenius equation? So the great Nobel Prize winning Swedish chemist Svante Arrhenius first suggested that the temperature dependence on the specific reaction rate K. That means he suggested how reaction rate and temperature are interdependent. This relation is given by equation as K A is equal to K0 into E raised to minus E by RT. This equation is called as Arrhenius equation or Arrhenius law. Where K0 is the pre-exponential factor or frequency factor. E is activation energy and its unit is joule per mole or calorie per mole. R is gas constant which is equal to 8.314 joule per mole Kelvin or 1.987 calorie per mole Kelvin. T is absolute temperature which should be expressed in Kelvin. Now next question. What is activation energy? So the activation energy is the minimum energy that must be possessed by reacting molecules before the reaction will occur. That means activation energy is the minimum amount of energy which is required to convert reactant into product. So the activation energy is determined experimentally by carrying out the reaction at several different temperatures. As we know Arrhenius equation. From this Arrhenius equation we can determine the activation energy as. So by taking the natural logarithm of the equation we get. So if we plot the semi-log graph between L and K and 1 by T. We get a straight line. With a slope equal to minus E by RT. So to calculate activation energy. We should have data of reaction rate constant as a function of temperature. So this is graphical method. Now, to calculate E that is activation energy mathematically, we have to obtain rate constant K1 and K2 at temperature T1 and T2 respectively. Hence Arrhenius equation at T1 and T2 can be written as. After rearranging the term we get. Ln of K2 by K1 is equal to E by R into 1 by T minus 1 by T2. So by putting the values of K1, K2 and T1 and T2, we can calculate E that is the activation energy. Now next question. What is the significance of activation energy? So as we know activation energy is the minimum amount of energy, which reactant should have to convert into a product. Hence the reactant molecule required the energy to distort or stretch their bond so that they break and form new bond. Thus the reactant must pass through the energy rich or activated state before they react. And the quantity of energy required by the reactants to overcome this activated state or energy barrier is known as activation energy. Figure shows the energy involved in the process of transformation of reactants into product from elementary reaction. So x-axis shows the progress of the reaction in terms of interatomic distance when reactants approach one another to form the activated complex and it disintegrated into products and y-axis shows the energy of reacting molecule change when the molecules come together to form a product and disintegrated into products. Hence from the diagram we can also define the energy of activation for any reaction such that it is the difference between the energy of the activated complex and the energy of the reactants. Now next question. What is the effect of temperature on activation energy? So as we know from Arrhenius law, a semi-log plot of ln k versus 1 by t gives a straight line with a large slope for large e and small slope for small e. Then if reactions are with high activation energies, that means if activation energy is large, the rate of reaction is very temperature sensitive. That means for reaction with high E, 
due to small change in temperature gives a remarkable difference in reaction rate. That means the rate of reaction changes with temperature. And if reactions are with low activation energies, that means if activation energy is small, the rate of reaction is temperature insensitive. That is for reaction with low E. Change in temperature does not give a remarkable difference in reaction rate. That means the rate of reaction does not change very much. Hence we can say that any given reaction is much more temperature sensitive at a low temperature than at a high temperature. Then from the Arrhenius law, the value of the frequency factor K does not affect the temperature sensitivity. Now next question. What is rule of thumb? So a rule of thumb is that the rate of reaction doubles for every 10 degrees Celsius rise in temperature. But this rule is for some specific combination of activation energy and temperature. For example, if the activation energy is 147,000 joules per calorie, the rate will double only if the temperature is raised from 500 Kelvin to 510 Kelvin. So that's all about the Arrhenius equation and activation energy. So keep watching. In the next video, we will discuss another topic. If you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel which is Chemical Edda.